<coughs> the Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The colic for proper five. Sunday closest to June 8th. O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant that by your inspiration we may think those things that are right and by your merciful guiding may do them through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The colic for grace. Lord God, almighty, everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, Colic for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray for those who have died, especially those who have died of of the coronavirus, but for those who have died uh, in the first five months of 2020 from any cause, we pray for our own dead, uh, for um, Larry, Marion, Russell, Joseph, Betty, and Barbara, and for all our ancestors. And let us pray for those in need of healing, especially remembering Steve and Sally, Eric, and um, Anne. Remembering especially those who are suffering from the pandemic, coronavirus, COVID-19. We give thanks for all those people who, um, first responders and others who have, um, um, who are taking care of those people who are ill during this period of time. I, uh, we pray We give thanks for um, for the beauty of the earth. I give thanks for all those demonstrators who are um, um, asking for change peaceably. Um, And I grateful that we have uh, um, 
people to hold down the violence. Um, be nice if the police would uh, restrain themselves. And I pray for the passing of an age. This pandemic will eventually be over. And the time of sanctioned peace, police brutality, I think, is, is ending. The police don't seem to have discovered it yet, but uh, since they are... ruled by their local governments, they probably will get the message. Um, anyway, blessings to you this day. We are going to say the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The great, the glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Have a good day.